All right, let me go ahead and recap everything. So this, this vote has like the potential to be like really fine or like really not good. So I make my three with Jonah and Morgan, which is good. And I feel fairly comfortable in it up to a point, and I'll explain what that point is because it's a very recent point. Um, and then I have Alex and Lauren, obviously. Now, Alex is a threat. Lauren, like, I really do think that I could go all the way with Lauren and beat Lauren. However, I want to play, like, a little bit more of a fluid game than that, and I don't necessarily need to stick there. Um, Lauren doesn't know, like, and that's the beauty of people not knowing that you have certain things, is like, you don't feel taught, like, nor Lauren knows nothing that I have, except for that I'm holding the one idol, but Alex knows that I have the, uh, extra vote just because if there's like a plan that's going to come together with it I think that he will I think that he'll be able to like put the numbers together it was truly because I was being lazy and I did not want to think about like how to best use it so I just kind of put the work onto him okay in an ideal world Susie gets voted out here in a secondly ideal world here, Bruce gets voted out. In a not ideal world at all, Jonah gets voted out. Obviously, like, I also don't want to be voted out. And I don't think anyone's going to tell me my name to my face, which is kind of the problem. I'm hoping that with feelers out there in terms of Jonah and Alex and Morgan and Lauren like I would hear at least a little bit of something that's like my hope but if they truly keep it from me like there there really will be no reason for me to play an idol if I don't hear that my name has been out there at all right like that would just be like it would be like bravo that's a blind side like good on you like I can't I can't play the idol just because I'm like paranoid so but okay Morgan asked me for all of my like what I think about pretty much everyone except for Marvin and Lauren I think and I was like you know Bruce is scary but for the same reason that Alex is scary so I was like it's probably good that both of them leave like I would be fine with both of them going but then she was like oh but Chris Ann and Susie like what do you think about them and it's like Chris Ann doesn't talk like literally at all to me about game the only time like Chris Ann ever speaks is like oh my god hopefully you won't vote me out. I know we didn't get a chance to talk. Like, all right, I think, I think we're just going to call that, like, we're going to cut that loss and that's fine. And then Susie, obviously I don't talk to at all. And like, that's a hundred percent my own doing. And I, it's not like I regret the decision. It's just like, okay. And then Morgan was like, yeah, Chris Ann doesn't talk to me except for about work, which I think was, I need to check back. She might've just been mirroring what I said which is like how I feel like I can tell when someone is lying. Like they just repeat back to me what I just said to them. And then like Susie only says like good luck before the challenge. And it's like, but that's not true because I know that you and Susie are buddy buddy in the girls group. So in that sense, like I feel like it would be better to vote Susie. But if, if we do that, then Alex and I both need to play our advantages and it's going to look like we voted together and then I lose my trust with Morgan and Jonah. Unless I say, and this is where it gets really messy, but if I was like to Jonah on the side, hey, 
in order for us to make sure that we really have Morgan, Susie needs to go because they are very close. I know this because Lauren let slip that the girls are in a chat together and it's mostly Morgan and Susie that are talking in there. That could backfire. And the other problem is I won't really be around for a lot of the vote right before Tribal tonight, so I don't really know that I have like an opportunity to spring that. So I feel like tonight might just need to be an easier vote. The problem is if it's Marvin, then we lose a number to do the Susie plan. If it's Alex, we lose a number for the Susie plan. So the best next option is Bruce. I think that I can get Morgan, myself, Lauren, and Marvin to vote Bruce. It just, I, it's gonna hinge on what Alex's relationship is to, to Bruce. And I feel like they probably have a fairly decent relationship. So that makes me nervous. And I don't, I don't know about Jonah's either. So we'll see. I think my best bet might be to pitch Bruce. But everyone's like, oh my God, Bruce has the idol. Bruce has the idol. Bruce doesn't have an idol. God, and it's so annoying. Literally, I feel like people are going to get voted out. I might not even, I probably won't even make it to the end. And people are going to be like, wow, the game would have been like so much easier and so much different if you just like told people that like you knew where the idols were. Can't do that. Can't do that, friends. Told myself I wouldn't. So that's that. I was surprised to be, okay. I was like surprised, but also not surprised to be fourth on the trust rankings. I was surprised in the sense that like, I didn't win, but I knew that Morgan was probably going to win. And I think the, the only reason that Chrisanne was high was because I put Chrisanne as number one. And so I, because I wanted to raise Chrisanne's threat level. So I was like, if Chrisanne wins this, then like that ups her threat level. I didn't do it based on trust for the most part. I did it as everyone should with who you would personally want to like win and target and like you would play the long game for this or like you know the short game in the sense that like these people need to I need to make sure they don't win like I wanted to make sure Alex didn't win I wanted to make sure Susie and Bruce didn't win so like I put them at the bottom but like I probably trust Alex more than I trust like Marvin so I don't know it just seems like maybe people should have been a little bit more strategic with it. But it also raises Morgan's threat level. I think it does raise mine a little bit because everyone... I was probably pretty middle of the road for people. I don't know. I don't know. It's a very interesting round. It's an interesting time to be in this game. And it'll be an interesting vote for sure. I do think it's going to be a bit of a scramble and that's not going to be good for me. And so... If I go out here because I was attending a cat's birthday party, then honestly, so be it. So be it. But then I do think a girl will win this game, which is not a bad thing, but it's just to say that I think the, the girls' alliance then will clamp down on themselves, I think. I don't know why I felt like I was the linchpin in that. And I was like, oh yeah. Whatever. I'm rambling anyway, so I'm just going to end here.